everybody, Dave Monahan here again, Goods and Tools and Supplies. Yes, it's time again for another Tech Lab Tuesday. Today, as I promised you last week when I was going through all these different flywheel grinding stones that we offer, I wanted to show you a little something different. Today, I want to talk about the maintenance uh, of these flywheel grinders. Flywheel grinders are real money-making machines in the shop, but they can also be some of the most neglected machines in the shop uh, as well. Uh, let's face it, uh, they're dirty machines. They have to grind. They make a lot of noise. Uh, they have coolant flying around in there. You've got dresser with uh, bracy debris flying into the sky. And that doesn't uh, mean you don't want to maintain it. you still got to keep the inside of this reservoir nice and clean and wiped down. Uh, you've got to keep your coolant fresh, of course. You've got to keep your dresser uh, uh, functioning uh, correctly, rotating, make sure it's got the good sharp edges on here. There's a lead screw adjustment in the back of the machine that needs to be periodically checked and maintained uh, as well. Check your instruction manual for your particular machine and it'll walk you through that, that, that procedure in that regard. But I want to talk about, you know, just basic uh, uh, maintenance and that's with regards to uh, the table and the tooling. Uh, we offer this little abrasive uh, 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 material here. It's called our Burr Buster. It's a BB9 part number from Goodson. We soak it in some solvent. And that gives it a little bit more aggression with regards to cutting. And as you're lifting and, and, and muscling around these, these heavy flywheels, especially these diesel truck and these agricultural uh, flywheels, you'll probably drop one, put a ding in this table. Anytime a dent goes down, metals have got to come up. So we want to deburr that. Be sure you run this over periodically. You don't have to do it every day. I would say at least once a week, maybe twice a month. But make sure you've got that whole tabletop nicely deburred all the way through. Also, your crankshaft mounting flange tooling. These rascals right here, uh, they need to be true. They'll get dinged and burred and what have you. We need to knock those burrs off of there. We need to make sure that this is a parallel uh, surface all the way around. Uh, the threads themselves in our centering cone bolt needs to be clean. We need to make sure that we've got a good tight bite when we put that into its bore to hold down the centering cone. And there again, the centering cone is also going to get burrs on it periodically. So taking care of your tooling is, is a big gain when it comes to utilizing this machine when it's time, when it's grind time, pure and simple. Uh, again, we don't want to walk up here. We got a customer just dropped off a flywheel, and then we're going to spend the next 45 minutes dinking around with our tooling because it won't fit or it's got a burr on it or what have you. By maintaining uh, up front, we'll save that time. We'll be able to get that flywheel ground. We'll get it ground accurately. We'll get it ground on a more timely basis. We'll have a real happy customer at the end of the day. So I wanted to bring those points uh, to your attention as part of Tech Lab Tuesday. Now keep in mind, you can always catch us on the web at goodson.com or you can call 1-800-533-8010. We're here to help you. We'll see you next time.